In uh, the previous videos, we've had a look at the, all the different players in the food delivery space. And we've talked about um, getting started as a food delivery company. So either as a, as a fully outsourced food delivery, um, which is a, a great and easy business to get into, or the highly lucrative deliver and uh, sell and then deliver um, space, so competing directly with the Uber Eats, Deliveroo type models. Um, but what about the people preparing the food in all this? If you're the, if you're the restaurant, um, you've probably noticed over the last few years your um, your profit slowly starting to get taken away by players who are in one of these other spaces. So either being, um, you know, the the marketplaces who just make sales on your behalf and then take a chunk of your profit or the ones who are then doing that and then um, making the delivery and then um, they own the relationship with the, your customers from end to end. So you're slowly losing touch with some of the customers and it's probably affecting your profitability. Um, so let's talk about um, how, you can, how you can get involved or where you should be focusing your efforts in order to, to change that. And the real name of the game is to move your customers Let's just delete that. Um, the real name of the game is to move customers from here, from here, and from here into um, there and there. So you want people moving this way. Um, so basically, you don't want someone else to sell to your customers and to take a commission especially through an online platform where um, once the technology is all kind of in place, there's no real effort involved. It's whoever, whoever makes that sale is just gonna get that 15%. So in the first instance, it takes quite a bit of effort to advertise to customers. Um, can cost two or three or five dollars to actually buy AdWords on uh, Google AdWords or something like that, or advertising on Facebook. Can be quite hit and miss. You've gotta develop the content. It can be quite challenging. But after you've made that first sale, um, that's where you really get some opportunities. And I've written a couple of articles on this and we're going to talk about it here as well. Um, what you really need to be trying to do is once someone's made the initial sale, you want to try and get the repeat customer um, to come back and buy from you directly. So from one of your, you know, let's, let's talk about the sweet spot. You want to be the one selling and preparing the food regardless of who does the delivery. Um, I'd like to propose that you also want to be doing the delivery. Um, so rather than being in either one of those, you actually want to be in here and doing all of those things yourself. Why do I say that? Um, the delivery itself is a terrific opportunity to own the relationship with the customer. So it doesn't matter where they buy from, um, that's when they're waiting for their food, that's when they are hungry, <laughs> and that's uh, when they're gonna be looking at a live driver tracking page and um, really paying attention. Um, so even though you, you might have taken a lot of effort to get them in the first place, once you've made a sale and they're about to try your food, you wanna make sure that they know that there is an opportunity um, uh, to get to know your brand. You don't want them thinking about, oh, I had some I had some Deliveroo for dinner, it was delicious. You want them saying, oh, I had some Andrew's Burgers for dinner and they were delicious, so I'm gonna go there again next week. Um, so you really wanna own the relationship, you wanna own the brand relationship, and you want to promote opportunities and incentivize them to come and buy from your website. So first of all, you need to have some tech. So things that you need, let's, let's, let's come over here. Things, things you need. Number one, order. You need a, you need your own website. You need, you need to uh, you need to have an ordering website. That doesn't take commission, or it takes a smaller commission. Um, so, you know, entree. It'll be a five percent commission instead of a fifteen percent commission. Um, order snap. Um, I think that's a monthly fee, zero commission. Um, and there's, you know, enter as many of these as you like. There's a lot of, there's a lot of these on offer these days and you should really take one up um, rather than just letting it go anywhere. And, and don't try and make it yourself from scratch unless you've got a lot of money or you have a particular reason to because the ones that are available are quite high quality and really quite good value. Um, then you also need 
the delivery system. So to delivery tech, please don't make that either. Uh, so use spatula for that. Um, gratuitous, <laughs> gratuitous plug for our own tech. It's a very easy to use delivery management system and you'll, as, you, as I demonstrated in the last video, um, can take the orders from these systems and using some third party uh, integrations or I can help you just set them up, uh, have the orders automatically go into your delivery system, manage your drivers and, and off you go. So if you've got sufficient deliveries um, to, to warrant doing your own, it's definitely worth it from the branding side. Uh, so then you own the relationship, you've got the ordering, you've got the delivery tech, what else do you need? You need some drivers. So here's where it can get a bit tricky if you are a, a relatively small company. Um, the other thing you might like to do is, um, well let's, let's just talk about um, our, our tech here, not, not for an advertising perspective but just to talk about um, how you can build the relationship in there regardless of if you use our tech or whatever. Um, hold on, let's, let's give it a black background again. So what you want to do is uh, when the driver is on the way out to your customers, they're going to get a tracking link. And um, it, it, if, you, if you have ever ordered an Uber or you've ever ordered Uber Eats or Deliveroo or Domino's Pizza or whatever, um, you've seen this before. And what you get is you get a map, you know, a map and you get a little car there's my car wheels <laughs> driving along to you and you get an ETA call the driver phone the driver SMS whatever um, then what you want to do is down the bottom here add in some you know a, a coupon or a link to your own website or to your own ordering app which is going to encourage your customers to go buy directly from you. So they can click on click on this page, I'll come here and click this, and then land on your website. And come over here and go, you know, my site. And you definitely want to make sure on here you've got some kind of special offer that they can purchase or that they've they can download your app and that they understand that they're going to get a better deal and a better relationship if they're buying directly through you and not through someone else. So that you're building the relationship um, between the brand, uh, between the brand of your restaurant and your customers. Um, so uh, that's how I believe that you can use the delivery process. Uh, you can use the delivery process here and take that to your advantage and try and drive the traffic again from the sales here into you being the one making the, making the actual sale. So from someone else doing it through to you being the one doing the selling because uh, that's when you're going to make more and more money and more and more profit and obviously we're going to get more and more restaurants making good food if the restaurants are making a living. So uh, that's all for this video. I hope that makes sense. If you've got any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments or to get in direct contact with me at andrew.spatula.io and uh, yeah, we'll otherwise see you in the next video.